Hi folks, I'm Dan Small, host of Outdoor Wisconsin on public television and Outdoors Radio on 13 commercial stations throughout the state. If you enjoy eating wild game as much as I do, but are looking for new recipes, why don't you check out the Wild Things Show? There are more than 70 recipes for fish and game and more than a dozen DVDs that you can order right there. The Wild Things Show is online at wildthingsshow.com. And don't forget to check out my show, Outdoor Wisconsin. Just Google Milwaukee Public Television. And for my radio show, go to Lakelink, lake-link.com slash DSO radio. I think you'll enjoy both and you'll love these recipes on the Wild Things Show. Get the best desserts and side dishes to go with the most outstanding wild game recipes you'll ever see cooked. All from the Wild Things Show. Streaming now available at vimeo.com slash on demand slash cooking wild game. Stay tuned now for mini clips of various shows. Enjoy. Islanders, Green Hills. On the right, quick march. Okay, so we got everything in there, tomatoes, salsa, spices. Now we're actually ready to start building the enchilada pan. You should like that one. And again, tell me the shape of the stem. It's definitely square. It's definitely it's square. Family. So it's a member of the mint family. And it's called yes. a brazier. It's a very common cooking stove that was used throughout the 1700s especially during the Revolutionary War. George Washington had his own. And there you have our black drum fish with tequila lime sauce, coconut lime rice, and fresh grilled asparagus. That tastes as good as it looks, Scott. All right, well, we're gonna have a good day. Let's have some lunch and then we'll make the last one. And what I'm going to do today is grind up some more of my venison that was left over from the last couple processing jobs. And I'm going to take 10 pounds of that venison and turn it into Italian sausage. And Italian sausage is what we used in uh, Cook Show 1 on the pizza. And on Volume 3, we used it in the gluten-free pasta salad. We used it. For oh, years. Keep, yeah. As long as it don't unseal, it'll keep... I've had it up to five or six years that I've had, and, uh, and it's still good. How long ago did you start canning venison? Uh, you just had to do that. Uh, <laughs> long time? A long time. I canned venison with my mother when she canned venison all the time. Oh, okay. And we used to have maybe a hundred quarts. Basically, we're going to take the head off now. So we just want to come in here and find where we're at again, right up through the backside of these gills. All right, all we're doing here is we're going to give our fish a turn. It looks like it's cooking really well. It's been on about two minutes here. We started cooking this like 40 years ago. So I've burned a lot of them in that length of time. <laughs> it's our favorite thing to take when we're out and we can't carry fresh bread. Just to make up some bannock bread. Go ahead and turn them just in case. I need a little more time. And again, turn one one way, the other way. Look. Beautiful biscuits. Better? They are done. Better? We're going to take them off. No, not yet. I think we'll let people butter them as they want them. And I have Heather with me today. And Heather's got this fantastic Irish outfit and a fantastic Irish wagon and she's going to be cooking for us today yes I'm going to make some wilted lettuce wilted lettuce yes it's our Irish family favorite okay I'm Irish and I've never had wilted lettuce so. you never <laughs> never oh my god you're so in, for the, in for a treat and, and this is going to be a campfire recipe yes Yes, we're going to do well, it right over the campfire. First, tell me a little bit about you. I have one for you, Rich. Come and get it. Now, this is the best part of this job. You can't get 
flavor like this out of the kits. If you want good flavor like this, you have to cook from scratch. And this is our Hasselback potato, our walleye with citrus dill, white wine and butter, and our creamy avocado dressing. Hi, I am Artis, and uh, I'm sure you hear my great grandma's recipe of fencing. Doesn't that look wonderful? We have our oven roasted asparagus, our Jack Daniels steak, and our gorgonzola potato pot. These are all things that we put together today. We Today we made a sun-dried tomato and Kamala Av crusted salmon on a bed of garlic spinach with an apple and sweet potato hash with fresh fennel in it. There are over 70 recipes uploaded for the Wild Things Show Season 1. To view all of the previews and find many free recipes, go to our website at www.wildthingsshow.com. For full anytime access to all of Season 1 and upcoming Season 2 video recipes, Subscribe to vimeo.com slash on demand slash cooking while game. Then click on the get updates tab to receive emails as new season 2 recipes become available. Your friends and family won't believe how great you can cook wild game by watching the Wild Things shows professional chefs.